This is the hidden gem of Modern Warfare 3, the MTZ556, which holy f the build I got today actually has no recoil. Seriously, usually it's like this, but mine's like this. Ladies and gents, you're going to be absolutely mind blown when you go to use it. So the MTZ, I really didn't like it and I like understood why it wasn't in rank play. It's just like a fast moving AR, but the recoil was a little bit weird and it's just very shaky side to side. So I went the Ram 7 route with this thing. I went over to the muzzle throw on the Cass's break, which when we take a look at those pros, as you guys can see, it specializes in the horizontal recoil control, as well as giving us a little bit of just overall fire and aiming stability, with only losing about a little bit of our ADS speed. Overall, there really isn't any cons. It's just you're not getting any vertical recoil control, and you are going to be on the radar when you fire your gun. But this thing is the secret to this gun. Obviously, we need a few more attachments, but that thing severely added so much recoil control to where it is mind-blowing. Then I was like, okay, next up, we are gonna be going over to the stock, and let's find a stock that adds a lot of recoil control. Usually, you wanna add the close quarters or the Marauder. The reason I'm running the Marauder is just because, you know, we get a little bit more recoil control, and I found the cons really aren't that drastic. If we look at the close quarters stock, you guys can see we get a decent amount of recoil control, not that much recoil gun kick, with only losing a 4% of our ADS speed. When we add the Marauder, we get 21% recoil gun kick, which if you didn't know, that's what really like changes the recoil pattern on the gun. This makes it a lot easier to use. That's why there's a little bit more cons, but those cons really don't affect you in any way. Like you will not notice the Marauder thing on your gun whatsoever. The only thing you're going to notice is all the pros that you're going to get. So now when we go back into here, you guys can see the gun is starting to shake side to side a lot less and there really isn't any vertical recoil by the way are you hard stuck in rank play and want to boost then i would check out my long-term sponsor guapsi they will play in your account to legitimately boost up your rank and they can also unlock anything you wish on the game you can scour the internet and you won't find a single negative review i'll have their link in the description so now we have a lot less recoil on the gun but there still is some recoil so i was like okay we kind of use most things to add that recoil control but there still is that side to side bounce so we are going to be going over to the underbarrel and you guys can probably already guess it we are going to be adding the bruin heavy support grip when we look at those stats it's going to give us the gun kick control aim and auto stability firing aiming stability and then we also get the horizontal recoil control which that's what this underbarrel is going to be specializing in we don't really get any vertical so i guess that is one downside of this class is that there's a decent amount of like vertical but there also really isn't that much and this underbarrel is going to be hurting the ads speed and so i guess that is probably the biggest con of the whole class is that it is a little bit slower but like you see that ADS speed? It is still very good, especially for an AR. And now when we fire the gun, literally zero recoil. You have to run this attachment combo if you want the gun to have no recoil. Obviously, there's a couple of variations, but when you add these three attachments, that's when the gun gets to like its final form. This is how the weapon's very good when you got these three attachments. Now from here, it really doesn't matter what you add. You can add whatever you want based off the mode and everything that you're playing. Typically, you are going to want to go over to the barrel and you want to add the drifter heavy or the clinch long barrel. So clinch heavy, this is going to add a lot of damage range without really hurting the weapon whatsoever. When we add the MTZ drift, drifter, you guys can see we get more recoil control as well as a lot of range with having a little bit more cons. Really depends on what you're doing. If you're playing warzone i would definitely run the drifter heavy for the multiplayer since i don't really want to lose any mobility and i don't really need more recoil control yes the extra damage range would be nice but overall i don't really want that many cons so i'm going to be running the clinch pro barrel sometimes though i will run the drifter heavy now from here really personal preference it does not matter what you add if you want to run an optic obviously you can run whatever you like i like the jack eyeless glass one you can run the mk3 reflector or just whichever one for me i would probably use the reflector lasers i would stay away from those ammunition this is actually what i'm rocking in the game plays but i do have a better build or you know a different build that you guys need to run so high grain rounds is gonna just increase that damage range yes we are losing recoil control but that's the only con on here and you guys are gonna see we got the mgbs with ease there is still no recoil on the gun but now we have more damage range so now i kind of have like a barrel that gives me damage range with um you know still having a lot of recoil control so if you guys want the screenshot this is a very good build if you are playing wars then you might want to add the drifter heavy long barrel just in general you know drifter heavy long barrel is going to be a good option i'm going to give you guys another class in a second but this class very very good remember i like the clinch and then um so you guys could also go over to the rear grip and this is if you just want more recoil control i don't know why you would want more but if you really want more run the bruin tr24 assault grip this gives us fire and aiming stability and more gun kick control and just that vertical and horizontal really making the gun a beam and yes we are losing a little bit of our aim and auto stability but you're not going to notice that whatsoever now the gun is even easier to use so if you're a fan of that here you guys go you could if you want to be off the radar then 
then I would probably add maybe like the Sonic Suppressor. You could add even the Spirit Fire, but that's more of like a Warzone one. Shadow Strike and then uh, the Competent Flash Hider. I almost made the video on this one. This thing on this class is very good as well. So uh, I would definitely try out this. The main part is just having that underbarrel on that stock. I guess the rest is personal preference. You guys can see still got a lot of recoil control. So this is another very good build. Now, if you want to run a magazine on the gun, I think the gun feels a little bit weird with the magazine. Like I just don't like it at all because it hurts the mobility a lot. So I usually don't want to run the Bruin Heavy if I am going to run a magazine. So if you do want to run one, try out the DR6 hand stop, then add the 50 round mag. That's when the weapon's going to feel a little bit better if you want more ammo just because of the sheer amount of recoil on the gun so here's a screenshot of the build hope you guys like it for the secondary we do got the red eddy i'm gonna mix it up and i'm gonna give you guys a conversion kit one in the future videos i haven't really been using the conversion kit lately i've been just rocking this red eddy and this red eddy it's crazy we got the infantry vest scavenger gloves so we don't really want to run out of ammo typically though i'll run the marksman gloves even on my smgs it just reduces the flinch making it easier to stay on target cover singer so the enemies don't hear you eod so you don't have to worry about nades now let's get into the crazy games Yo, ladies and gents, we're on some rust. I was looking for like a different, like bigger map that you guys haven't really seen, but the game gave us rust. So if it, what the f just happened? I mean, if what the flip just happened, man? I will. We can't swear anymore. I get age restricted so often on on the YouTube streams. The YouTube videos are fine because my my boy Parker he like mutes all the swears and things, or it's typically, and so it's not too much of an issue. Bro, this thing, this gun is gonna be an issue for this. My holy Renetti, I am literally giving you up. You are done, Renetti. I'm never using you again. One thing I gotta start using is the conversion kit on the Renetti. Uh, I got a couple comments of people being like, yo, do you not like the conversion kit? Bro, I thought you were literally dead. My teammate shot at you and ran away. I thought you died yesterday. Okay. But yeah, the uh, Renetti, the conversion kits was super good in the beta. It was absolutely disgusting. It was like a better um, MP7. Like the Vel 46 in the game is the MP7, which it, it was in the Modern Warfare 2. And then it just carried over. And that one, it basically felt like a better version of that. I haven't really used it since they nerfed it. So I definitely need to start using that again. As you guys can see, this thing, so easy to use. Holy sh... Like this gun is actually incredible. Certified... This is probably one of my favorite guns now in the game. This is actually why I got banned from rank play. Because... There's no recoil and we have so much mobility. I think we could honestly stay... Yeah. I, I don't know if we could stay up here. I, I, I don't know if we could do that. Okay, we're gonna... Uh, do this. Wait, oh, I think you're gonna be running up this. Okay, teammates. Yeah, you're protecting me? Protecting your godfather? Okay, I think I gotta go down. Start facing them face to face. Wait a minute. I don't think I have scavenger on this class. Imagine you get gunned by a pistol like that. That's just sad. Bro, that was satisfying. That was actually so satisfying right there. Bro, Russ is great when the spawns work. Oh my god. This is too scary. I don't like this at all. We're on a 21. And I don't have a UAV or anything. Mosquito drone? No. 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 But why? You know what? I'm going to give you the 360 MGB. <laughs> Let's go. Cool. Okay, so I saw the new Godzilla movie. Going into the Godzilla movie, I thought it was a lead off of Godzilla minus one. Oh my days. It was absolutely the complete opposite. Bro, the Godzilla versus Kong was the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Well, not worst one, but I give it like a three. Like, I actually hated it. What do you take three years to reload? Bro, if I was in war, you know how fast I would reload? I'd be the Usain Bolt of reloading. Okay, so yeah, I was seeing Godzilla minus Kong, and it was not like Godzilla minus one whatsoever. Not whatsoever. And the whole time I thought it was like a leadoff, and so I was like, 
a little bit confused. I just kind of jumped into this. Oh, the characters look a little bit different. Oh, I guess we're just saying fuck off to the other characters. And we got we got some new ones in here. And I was just really confused. And then I realized it wasn't. And then uh, I'm not trying to spoil it, but it was a movie. It was a movie. Prime example. In like the typical movies, just, you know, the standard day American movies. In the trailers, they always have like a funny moment. For the whole movie, like for the funny moments. It's like they're filming and then they're like, oh, okay, we, we actually need a funny moment for the trailer. Let's ha have that moment be like right here. And so you see the funny moment and it's so forced in because they just need a funny moment for the trailer. It was just the most predictable. This standard, whatever you see in a movie was in that one. They're like, how much cool shit can we throw into this? Let's just throw a bunch of cool shit. Let's just give them dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. I feel like I was watching a movie for my five-year-old cousin. Godzilla minus one, though. Holy shit. Bro, okay, can you not fucking spot in my sights? You know what? Okay, we haven't got the MGB yet. We're almost halfway through this. I'm gonna do a little 360 pop the stim. I'm gonna go up top. No, I'm not gonna go up on top. They're just watching everything now. No, we're making our way up top and we're getting the MGB from here. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Oh my god. No, no, no. Not mosquito drones again. Not the mosquito drones again. Why are those even in the game? I don't even know how to av avoid those. Cruise missile? Bro, how many drones? Please don't kill me. Thank you. Thank you for not going after me. Okay, so we know that they are drone warriors. Thank you for moving. Oh my god, where, where did my aim go? Bro, oh, stop walking backwards. No, I need them to walk forward. I need them to have some confidence. Bro, look at those uh, sights. Look at those iron sights. Teammate, no, just because I'm up here doesn't mean you can come up here. Come on, can you move? Wait, are you just hiding? Just give up? You got snipers? They upgraded. Okay, we got the advanced UAV now. Honestly, I kind of want to jump down one floor because I feel like an American sniper is going to take my head off. was waiting for me he was actually waiting okay i've got the nukes last second on this map so i think this is going to be one of those games Okay, I need to get out of here. There's a million nades. They know they're putting their entire arsenal on us. We got the helo. We're gonna go up top. Okay, you know what? It's been a bit since they've called in a mosquito drone. That means when I get close to this MGB, they're gonna have a mosquito drone. Oh, bro, this thing is crazy. I feel like I'm lagging a little bit too. See how, like, I was shooting? I stopped firing and then the guy dies? I don't really understand that. Okay, I have no ammo. We are done. We are screwed. That was sick. That was gnarly. As long as they don't have a mosquito drone, we're fine. Enemy. 
Gotta aim up for chests that I cannot miss. I must hit every shot. What are you doing with their plate over there? What are you doing? Bro, okay, how am I supposed to get a fucking nuke when they spawn in front of me like that? Like, that doesn't make sense! There's someone talking to my game. Some bad stuff is happening to them right now, it seems like. Seems like a kid who didn't clean up their toys. Now the mom is getting pissed off. And I don't know if I'm playing with the mom or the kid. I'm just going to go with option one. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Bro, these guys are scouring the map. Okay, I think I got to meet these guys. Let me, uh, obliterate. Wait, whoa, 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 they're out. They're out. The ADHD kicked in. They couldn't stay up there. They had to move around. Okay, this map, phenomenal. Nothing's wrong with it. I love this map. I love how we get the model for two maps so often. Oh, we got the light machine gun, motherfucker. These are the people I don't like when they have the machine gun, the light machine gun, and they hold the trigger down, waiting until they get a kill. And they will not release that trigger until they get their kill. Okay, smooth operator, you gotta shut the fuck up today. You gotta quiet down. Low man. Okay, let's do the advanced. Because I have so many things around me. I should honestly relocate. But like, I'm getting so many kills to where it's kind of working out. Oh my god, oh my god. I, uh, my back just got drilled and then it's on fire. Bro, I forgot the incendiary rounds are in this game. Like, you don't see anybody rock those. So respect to that guy for, you know, mixing it up a little bit. Because I would never do that. Sometimes I think their shoe got untied. Because you see on the radar, like they're running towards you. But then they don't run towards you. Like they just stop randomly in the most weird spot. So it's like something had to have happened. Like something horrible must have happened. Like, like happened to tie your shoes. Teammate, that was, that was really messed up. I'm not going to lie right there. That was super messed up. Hey, teammate, you're going to let that guy live? No, teammates. I need the kills. I'm the YouTuber here. I need the MGB. I was going to add the 55 round magazine, but this thing is really weird with the 50 round. You have to like take off the under barrel and add like the DR6 hand stuff to mitigate the loss of mobility that you're getting. But then like the gun's not as little of recoil, so the video wasn't as satisfying. So that, that's probably like the biggest downside of this gun. But my speech today has been absolutely... Wait, I thought that was not friendly. I'm not going to lie. Absolutely fucking nuts. Well, sometimes the game doesn't make sense. But yeah, dude, my uh, my my commentary, my skills, everything. It's like I I don't play for one day and I just lose everything. Thank you. Ah. Eh. I am so sorry. I'm apologetic, I promise. Ladies and gents, we are two kills off an MGB. So I'm going to call in my pre-MGB. We're going to do a little 360 and I think there's an enemy near me. Dude, that guy could kill me. You see him? We're going to go right over here. We're going to get this nice angle. We're going to curve into there. Oh my god, dude, I literally should be a director. Wait, no. I should be a cruise missile operator. Not a director. Not a fucking director, no. Wait, why are they running away? I think they know I'm the... That guy changing the oil? Get MGB. Get MGB, let's go, boys. Okay. I'm trying to slide in the games like, you know what? We ain't sliding today. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to take off the underbarrel and I'm going to add a 50 round mag. So then you guys can see the power of the SMG version of the MTZ. I also want to do like a no stock one, but this one, there's no recoil. This is exactly how you got to use the MTZ. Now I don't even care if I die. You 
You know what they should do? Is add all the model for two maps into rank play. Absolutely doinked. Not too shabby. Oh, uh, bitch, you want to go through the tunnel? Okay, well, well, watch this. Watch this. We're going to take off this under, bro. We're going to go over here. We're going to make sure where we are recording. Looks like I'm in a mangrove tree, like under a massive tree. It's just that time of day. Oh, I have the high green rounds in there. We're going to go to magazine. 50 round mag. Now, we should actually have more. No, no, we're going to have about the same amount of recoil control or something because, okay, basically, we got the mobility. We got the mobility that we're looking for. And we got the ammo. See how it shakes a little bit more? Like that, that underbarrel that we were rocking? Okay, well, where did these enemies go? Where, oh, you, what the, were you making a sandwich? Were you chilling in the sun? We got windows over here. Not that much recoil, but there's still a little bit. So that's why I usually use the, the other underbarrel. Which you still can with the 55 round mag, just... Good luck not dead sliding constantly. If you don't really ever slide, then it doesn't really matter. But if you're like me and you're tweaking 24-7, then, you know, you kind of need the DR. You know, I almost became a doctor before content creation. I was going to college to become a doctor. Yeah, Dr. Seabass in the room. About to, about to perform his colonoscopy. That's exactly why I switch tasks. Tax? Task? Ooh, I can't even say the word task. See, I, I don't know if I would have been a good doctor. I would have just been mispronouncing everything. I would have went to go diagnose someone. Completely mispronounce everything. I don't even think I could say the patient's name without mispronouncing it. Like, I used to say the belated break, which I don't think it's called that. as a bileted break. A bileted break adds a lot of recoil control. It is a great muzzle. Make sure you run your bileted break. Or is it belated? Be belated. Lighted. I thought you died yesterday, but yesterday was Easter. Bro, this tax stand slide needs to get out of the game. We are absolutely blending these guys. Bro, I just I feel like I just put some fruit into a blender and push number five. Okay, who wants their colon checked? Who wants their colon checked today? I will. I got my colon checked, I guess. Okay, we're going to do a little cruise missile. We're going to hit them at the 720. Okay, so I'm going to try to get inside the tunnel first. We're going to go like this. We're going to do two 360s. Imagine seeing this. Like, you look up in the minimap, and this is what you see. Okay, we're going to... Oh, my God. No. What? I think the time ran out. I was going to go up. Boost down. Go right into the tunnel. Right into that big, fat tunnel. Oh my god, the whole family's in here. Oh my god, it's a family reunion. I'm gonna nuke him. I'm gonna nuke him right now. What do I, I'm, I'm not gonna nuke him, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna nuke him, if that makes sense. I only got two kills after all that. I hate when you see that many enemies on the minimap, you're like, oh, this is my moment. This is when I'm gonna say Xbox record that. And then you get two kills. Oh. You know what that means? 720 time. The 720 time. I hope you guys like these cruise missiles. I've been having a great time with them. We're going to go over here. We're just going to do a 360. So not 720 time. It's 360 time. We're going to go shoot. We're going to go right into the wall. And we're just going to pretend we didn't see any of that. So next up. Uh, let's see if we can get this helo. The plan right now. Wait till they hit about 240. 
make them get really excited that after all this fighting, they finally came out victorious. And they're going to be able to go home and see their families. And then I'm going to call my MGB. And they're going to get uh, very, very sad, as I should say. Exposed. You got your legs to the wall. There you go. Daddy came through. What can I say? What can I say? You know, a lot of people don't realize is that you can take down the counters and the UAVs like extremely quick. Like very quickly. There we go. It's a clear sky. It's a nice blue day. Okay, I think I have time. No, I did not mean to do that. Fuck, I meant to do the cruise missile. Wait, wait a minute. Cruise missile? MGB. Wait, seven seconds. This is going to be... Okay, there is a boundary. There is a boundary. I'm just going to let the good one come through. Now we know. There's boundaries. Okay, guys. I'm going to have to sit down with y'all and ask you. What you just suck. happened? What happened? What, I suck? Frisco. What did you just say? Frisco, come on. Say it with your chest. Say it with your chest, bitch.